Meet my new friend Leia. She was hit by a car and left in the streets of Egypt all alone. She was rescued and then flew to the United States and now she's the newest board and train at the Upstate Canine Academy. And today we start a new journey to her new life. Hey, what's up guys? I'm sitting outside of the Upstate Canine Academy right now. We just got a brand new dog in and the story of this dog I had to share with you guys. And I definitely had to share you the training process. This is the first time I'm gonna be working with her. She's not aggressive, she's not mean, but she does not know how to be a dog. I'm just really excited to work with her because I know that this girl deserves a better train of thought, better state of mind, um, guidance and leadership. And I'm really grateful for the opportunity to work with her. And I wanna bring you guys along for the ride. So it's raining. So let's go. No. I'm gonna go grab her. We put her up front in the up front crate. That's where we put our dogs that are kind of nervous, especially with the other dogs in the back that are excited to see her. She's a little uh, overwhelmed with all of that. This is all new for her. Imagine where she was to where she's at now. So I'm gonna hand the camera off to Taylor. And we're gonna get going. Hi, Leia. You guys can tell her back end is kind of messed up from her hip. Uh, I think it was her hip that was and I'll show you guys the x-ray in the video, but so as you can see, she's she just doesn't really know what to do. Um, she's shaking a little bit. Hi, sweetheart. Hi. 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 What do you think? What do you think, sweet girl? A little growly. It's okay. Who's a good girl? So I'm just gonna go to her. Hi, sweetheart. I think, uh, judging by what I'm seeing and hearing. Hi, sweetie. So again, guys, she just doesn't know what to do. She doesn't really know what a leash is. She doesn't really know what I'm trying to do with her. So the first thing I wanna do is just try to build a good relationship with her. Oh, hi. Oh, good girl. Good girl, that's a good, oh, she's a little, so I'm just gonna come in here with her. Hi, how are we doing? How are we doing? So she's just nervous to come out. Uh, she came out, she came back in. So I'm just coming in. Um, I think the crate symbolizes a lot of, sh a lot of um, security for dogs, especially a dog like her who she's probably been, like I said, she's lived on the street in Egypt, um, feral as a wild dog. And so, hi, good girl. Good, so I'm not giving her eye contact or anything. I'm just kind of just ignoring her and see if she goes back out on her own. Good girl. So I'm, let, I'm, go, I'm letting her go on her terms because she's not a threat to me, so I'm just gonna let her build her own confidence here. Come on, let's go, come with me. She's a good girl. Um, she's off to a good start, and now we're gonna uh, help her expedite that process. Come on, sweetheart. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make the crate experience, the exiting the crate experience. So I want to break down the process to get her more in, more secure and more confident coming in and out of the crate. Leia, come here. Good job, Leia. Good job. I'm just going to ask her to stay before we exit this door just with leash pressure, uh, operant conditioning. So I'm going to use leash pressure to give her a little pressure if she tries to escape without my permission. And then I'm going to reward her on the other side if she stays. Stay. Yes, good job. Break, good job, good job. So I'm doing a couple different things, guys. I'm, I'm teaching her to stay. I'm teaching her threshold. I'm teaching her break. And I'm also giving her the uh, availability or option to hunt for her food, which all dogs love to do. So I'm doing a bunch of different things to get her stimulated. But most importantly, I'm, I'm getting her to focus on me and engage on me as the handler, which is gaining her confidence in me. And we can continue to progress. We're gonna do the place command. So the place command is a very easy thing for dogs to do. 
but it builds confidence and it builds structure and it just learn it, it just gives her something in her toolbox much like with people i can't i think I, i'm afraid i don't i'm not sure okay maybe okay i'm doing it oh wow i'm doing it and that's what i'm going to be doing with her she might jump right on and we're going to be off to the races i'm going to mark it capture it move on or she might be a little skeptical and afraid and i'll teach her how to do it and get over that hurdle and it's a relationship building exercise place yes good place Good place, good job. Good place, place. So just a little leash pressure here, guys. Yes, good place. So it's that in between of, um, much like times when kids just, you know, don't wanna go to kindergarten or something. It's, there is times where you have to play a little tough love to say, hey, it's okay, we're gonna get there together um, because it's gonna be beneficial for her. She doesn't wanna do it because she doesn't know what it is and she's a little afraid, but that's exactly why we're doing it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple more place commands out and make it more fun for her and switch it up and make it more of a exercise and just more of a game for her. Yes, good place. Leia. Leia, come on. Place. Yes, good place. Good job. Leia, place. That with her. Now I want to transfer over to the... Uh, the treadmill and see if I can get that going with her. And it just gives us an opportunity for her to just take direction and, and trust me as a leader to do some new things. And um, again, just getting over her each hurdle so she becomes more confident each exercise we do. Place, yes, good job. Good job. Good job, sweetheart. Good job. I'm gonna turn it on the lowest setting we can. Oh. Yes, come on, come on, good girl. Well done, baby girl, come on. Come on. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get her off. I'm just gonna ask her to place again. Just keep those juices flowing for her. Leia, place. Yes, good girl. Leia, come here, place. Place, yes, good girl. Awesome job. Good girl. All right, guys, so really quick, I wanna do a giveaway on my channel. Uh, I did this before and I wanna do it again. I'm gonna be giving away one free online session with me to work directly with me face-to-face -face via FaceTime or Skype. All you have to do to enter to win, when I say go, is hit the space bar and leave your dog's name letter by letter in the comments below to automatically be entered to win a free online session with me. Ready, set, go. Boy, stay. But all I want her to do is gain a little bit more confidence around a dog she doesn't know. Little nervous, come here. It's okay, come here. So she's starting to get a little revved up, but in a good way, a playful way. So this is good. Again, she's nervous. Hopefully in the next three minutes, she becomes not nervous. Confidence boost up. What do you think? Let's play with them a little bit. So I'm just gonna play with them like a dog a little bit. So I'm just playing with him, her around him, playing with Layla, Leia around him to get her more comfortable and more confident with me. So she's got a lot of playful, instinctual stuff about her, which I really like. A lot of that isn't taken away from her. Uh, when dogs grow up feral like that, they, they tend to have more natural instincts to play, <laughs> like she's doing now. So this is the type of stuff that you would do, that uh, we used to do with the wolves when I used to work with them. It's very playful. Oh. This is great body language. Oh, good job. I know. So you can learn from the best of body language through a feral dog. I mean, they are feral. They are, that's the best body language you can learn. Hey guys, so I just switched to a little slip collar here if you guys see it. Um, so I'm gonna teach her leash pressure on the leash. So taking direction for me on the leash, it's very important, it's like again, micro macro stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna teach her how to take direction. Chances are she's gonna buck and she's gonna be a little stubborn about it because it's a little bit more pressure than the actual leash slip, but that didn't, that didn't give me enough of what I needed because she was pulling on it and kind of choking on it. So I just switched to the next step up with just a regular slip collar. So we're gonna start with that. Come on, sweetie. Come, yes. So she's gonna fight it a little bit. Good girl. Come. Yes, good girl. Good job. Good. Come. Yes, good job. Good girl. Come. Good girl. Now I can transition it to my heel. Beautiful. Little pressure to stop. Absolutely perfect. So that was like the quick introduction to leash pressure, guys. 
beautiful. So you saw me go back and forth with her. She kind of fought, she's like, I don't want to. And then she learned how to shut it off. So again, you can tell uh, she's getting pretty tired and I am too, I don't know, it's like 9.30 or 10 o'clock, but anyway, she's doing really, really well. So it's the first phases of teaching her how to take pressure on the leash, which is obviously one of the biggest things in her life um, because she's gonna be on a leash. She doesn't really know how to respond to it otherwise. So this is the first step on how to do that. So directional changes back and forth, teaching her how to shut it off, gaining confidence. Okay, I know how to do this, this is great, but I'm kind of nervous, I'm kind of scared, and I'm kind of timid. Oh, but I'm gonna get over it. So it's a little, she's gonna be exhausted. It's a battle for her mentally, but it's what she needs to get to the next step to be a more confident dog. So she's doing really, really well. So I'm gonna keep doing this. Hi, sweetheart. And just to show you guys a little bit more examples. Good girl, come on, good heel, good job. Good heel. Something she's never done. Good heel. Little buck, that's okay, good trust. Good girl, little buck. Yes, come on, good girl. Natural for that resistance, guys. Especially from a dog who is living feral in the streets of Egypt. Very first session, doing absolutely wonderful. Taylor, follow me in, we're gonna go back into the room. Good girl, come on. Good heel, sweetheart. Good, so again, like we started in the beginning, threshold stuff, guys. She can't go in unless I say, ah, a little pressure. I go in. Okay, break. Good girl. I'm gonna give her access to her crate. Good girl. Good job. Good job, sweetie. All right, guys, so that's a wrap for today's session with her. If you guys wanna see more of her and how I'm gonna continue to develop her confidence and just her training in general as a pretty feral, insecure dog, let me know in the comments below if you guys want more. Um, I'll certainly do some more stuff with her, but that was absolutely brilliant. We came in, she was a little nervous, she was growling, um, she's insecure, she didn't know me at all. I've never handled her before. And I went out and I just taught her some very basic stuff on the leash. And what it did, again, is it transitioned her from um, making decisions her whole life to actually taking direction for the first time and me implementing something very basic like the leash, because in the future when she goes home to her parents or her dog owners, uh, or, the, or her owners, um, she's gonna she's gonna obviously need to know how to walk on a leash. She's gonna need to know what heel is. She's gonna need to know what sit is. Impulse control so she doesn't dart out the door, taking direction, micro macro. So absolutely brilliant. I'm so happy that you guys watched me and uh, followed along with her journey all the way from Egypt. If you guys could give her some love by liking this video, leaving a comment below and let me know if you wanna do, see more of her and as well as subscribing to my channel if you guys are interested. I post videos like this at least once a week. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I know Princess Leia does, and thank you guys again. I appreciate you. Peace. Oh, this is everything.